collector leader Harbinger demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, uh, indication of hive mind among collectors or even reaper technology at work, salvage teams captures collector bodies study. And we got a new beam, got a new banner. So. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive and working for Cerberus. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk, but I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? What's our next step? We have to keep the pressure on the Collectors. They'll be more cautious with their ground operations. So we need another opening. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? I'm free, clear, and focused on the mission. That's what I like to hear. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? An important request, Mr. Gangarole Esquire. Having consulted with my colleagues at Citadel, I have the privilege to request your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prophean technology uncovered at Helios. Believing these materials to be hazardously dangerous, they were locked in quarantine. Even though the tests revealed that the fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a reclassification for the Cultural Ministry. Knowing of your interest in Promethean technology... No, 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 not me, Tisani, not me, Tisani. I would happily uh, to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Batarian, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, this exchange could be made in your name, enable us both to profit from the happy accident. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Robin Reeve, the Alliance soldiers here gave me this contact information. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and my brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at the schools, winter clothes that never got warm. Well, they really try to guilt trip me here. Eh? Please, the Alliance isn't doing anything. The Council isn't doing anything. If you find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. No idea who you are. I'll be honest with you. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Always have time for my crew. 
What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this was a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had 10 years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open, not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships, anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this, picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info was floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. 
Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> ah, never mind. So something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on the way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I, I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough. But you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. 
Maybe not. Okay, that's okay. Wee, wee. Can I bypass anything? Can I bypass? Control switch. Can we... Okay, so I need to do these in the order, maybe? Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Cool, I knew them. Okay. Yeah. Definitely this first. Heal control, shield generate. Sound right, no? Okay. That one? Okay, right, so da 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 da. Okay, that's not a fun game because I don't think I've any clue what's actually happening. Cleverest one I've ever done in my life. Okay. Those magnetic shield keeping Samani currently safe from catastrophic solar activity. Credit rewarded transfer from Samar colonies. The credits. Hiya there. I feel like what I said back on the horizon. When I lost you two years ago at Tormio. I prayed for you every day. I read a lot of Tennyson. Thinking about you. Just like I did when my dad passed. And then you came back. And it was like my prayers were answered by I'm not who I was then. And neither are you. I don't know what's true anymore. Part of me can't believe it's really you. I keep going back to that night before I else. Our night. I haven't let myself think out these memories for more than a year now. I wouldn't have expected you to work for Severus, but I know they sent you to Horizon. I saw how many people were lost there, and if anyone can stop the collectors, you can. I can't go where you're going, but I can wish you luck. Just stay alive out there, Skipper. I don't know what the future holds, but I can't lose you a second time. Death closes all. Something here the end. Some work of noble note may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove of gods. Okay. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. 
That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Pragia. I owe you, Shepard. You know what? I want you know what? Stay behind it. Came all the way down here with these people just for that. Alright. To escape guests notice thanks to some clever work in cyanide's engines, but the strain on their old ship was too much. The best we can hope for is to find a friendly spot somewhere in the shoal system. Our, our reports show that this is extremely likely. We were never scouting this close to the Persu Persus Vale, and we were right to be. At this point, I'm afraid we might never see the fleet again. With everything the cyanide had been through, it seems like I could. I could Noble end, in, in noble end, and ignoble end. No heard that. No heard that word in a long, long time. The landing was rough, but we managed to salvage from the wreckage the things we needed to survive. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Commander Golat didn't make it, leaving me the senior officer in charge. We scouted the landscape and found the planet to be extremely hostile. We don't dare remove our environment suits here. We're all hoping to be rescued before there's any danger of exposure. I don't know who or what is taking them, but we have now lost more than half the crew who survived the crash. We hope to build a camp here to survive until Indina found our beacon, but something is hunting us. I have to keep the crew together the best I can. We will send out a search party when the day comes. I will find my crew and we will do whatever it takes to return to the Indina. Okay. 
We have to go now. Took you so long to get there. Well, that was rather annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Commander Shepard. Take that. So, and extracted Quarian survivor, annoyed ID of Senate Scout Ship location. Commander Shepard, please accept my sincere appreciation for your efforts in locating the wreckage of the Cyanid. The ship had a sto storied history with both the Migrant Fleet and Cerberus, and we are pleased to know that the wreckage can be salvaged by my people. In finding and stabilizing Lieutenant Far Orzan, you have returned to the Fatilla, one of her newest and most honoured heroes. Your efforts in furthering the Quarian search for a new home world will be remembered. Thank you. Male routing. A Dray lay in the ocean, dying from Capril Syndrome, and had a dream. In his dream, the Kindles came to him and... Oh really, are you, are you kidding me? Okay, they're giving me a god story. I'm not reading that. Chorban. I hope this address still works. I promise to send you intel on the keepers if I found anything. Oh, hi, this guy. And this is important. See those scans you took? It turns out the keepers are bioengineered. And based on my comparisons to some of that material from Saren's flagship Sovereign, they were engineered millions of years ago by the same people who made Sovereign. You may not understand how important this is, but it suggests the Citadel was going... was mainly made by the Prometheans, for what? Kinda know that, but well, I know that. It may have been made by something far older, but with the keepers as organic guardians. And what's more, based on my gen genetic readings, they are supposed to react to something, some signal or something about every fifty thousand years. You can me measure gen genetic variances. It's a bit like comparing rings on a tree to see the drought years. Oh, that's true. Whether whoever did this well, around the last time the signal went off world, be around the time the Perufians disappeared, and it's scheduled to go off sometime around now. If any of the old tech still works, they could have some nasty surprises waiting for us. Just thought you wanted to know. Nobody here in the Citadel will listen to me. Eh. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong. Wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong. Tense. I just want to kill something. With my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles voices of warlords but this is a blood haze in my head i want control when we're moving fighting i focus but here my blood screams my plates itch and even you are just noise i'm tank born what is this Edie, anything in your files about krogan diseases that could cause this Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. 
They will never let stuff like that leave the home world to Chanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pact. Talk to them or Clan Chief.